Today's video will be on how to download the app and connect your app to the Better Home Products Electronic Deadbolt. On our website, we do have a video on how to install the lock and a video on how to program the lock. As you can see here, I do have one installed on this lock mount already, but it has not yet been programmed. Before downloading your app and connecting your app, you need to make sure that you do the, the handing and the programming of the lock first. So to do the handing, we need to put in the programmer's code, four zeros, BHP, zero, then BHP. So once we've determined the handing, we need to now delete the manufacturer's user code. We'll do that by pressing four zeros, BHP, the number two, BHP, one, two, three, four, the BHP. Now that we've deleted the code, we need to add our new user code. To do that, you push your programming code, zero, 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 BHP, the number one, BHP, six, seven, eight, nine, then BHP. Now that we have the lock program, we can check it by pushing the BHP button and it should lock. And then your new user code at BHP and it should unlock. Okay, now we can continue the process and downloading the app. So depending on the device that you have, whether Android or iOS, you'll need to go to the corresponding app store. So if it's Android, it'll be Google Play. If it's iOS, it would be the App Store. Opening up your App Store, then you want to search for BHP Smart Lock, and it will look like this. Download the app. And once downloaded, go ahead and open the app, and it should look like this. The first screen will show the available locks that can be programmed. We only have one here, so we'll click on that. And in the next screen, it'll show you the username, program code, and the lock name. We're going to enter the username. We're going to put BHP. You can name it whatever you want. The programming code. Remember, this is your programming code, not your user code. Zero, 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 zero. And then the lock name. So the lock name, if you had a front door and a back door, we can name this the front. Once you're done, at the bottom there's a note here that says if the password is default value, please change. That's for security reasons, but you'll click on that and then connect. Confirm. Now that you're connected, it should look like this. So to simply test it out, push the green button. To unlock it, the red button. And we'll do this again. And that's it.